UMD's top dog is retiring. Chancellor Lenley Black announced his retirement this morning, leaving a 12-year legacy behind. CBS 3's Abigail Smith shares what his time at UMD means to the Duluth community and what comes next. Maybe I'll do another five years, something UMD's Chancellor Lenley Black told himself throughout his career, causing him to surpass the national average of time working in higher education. Yeah, I love the university, but I'm at a point in my life where I'm certainly not getting any younger, um, and I want to be able to retire and enjoy my family in ways I've not been able to. As, as you can imagine, this job is very demanding. After 40 years of higher education experience with 12 years at UMD, battling massive financial obstacles in a global pandemic, Black reflects on his time at UMD, marking his time as an adventure he'll never forget. So we've really been around the country in, in different places, but uh, I, I continue to be um, inspired by this location and by the people in this area. Black helped raise $170 million for student support and secure new research opportunities and large-scale upgrades to campus facilities, one of many accomplishments colleague Lynn Williams respects. The university has really, really grown its research enterprise and really paying attention to the impact of our research, the quality of our research, and that is something that stands out for a school like us. And he really created that vision. Black plans on sticking around the area, engaging in local theater, spending quality time with his family, and lending a hand to the community as much as he can. But on his way out, Black just has one thing left to say. Well, the message is thank you. Uh, thank you for... Black was also at the helm when former UMD women's hockey coach Shannon Miller was not signed to a new contract, a decision that later cost the school four and a half million dollars via Miller's uh, discrimination lawsuit. Black maintained the decision was not discriminatory. As for his retirement, Black plans to stay on through the end of the school year. The University of Minnesota System President Joan Gable has already started a nationwide search for his replacement.